me, Miranda. I know a lot of you have been wondering, where's she been? Where's Miranda? She hasn't been posting in such a long time. Well, first of all, leave me alone. Stop yelling at me. I'm busy. Yeah. A lot of you have been wondering where I've been. I've been on freaking tour, okay? I'm a working woman. Maybe I promised at the beginning of the year that I would post a video every single Monday. But that was too much work from you guys demanding that of me. I was doing it every single Monday, posting a video. And it was exhausting. It was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. So please stop yelling at me about that. Anyways, I'm on tour now. And so if you guys want to get your tickets, you can. I'm going to lots of fun cities. They're all over the screen right now, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to make my editor do that. So these are the cities I'm going to, so make sure to get tickets, MarinaSings.com, thank you very much, you don't want to miss it. But I am on tour right now, and I am in the most epic, incredible, sought-after city in the country, Waukegan, Illinois. I am so excited to be here. It is hustling and bustling outside. I saw two people sitting on the sidewalk. I saw a CVS. So it's a really fun town, and I'm really excited to be here. I've always heard, oh, Wow Keegan, the next Broadway. And I thought I would show you a day in the life so you can all understand why I'm not posting as much anymore on YouTube, and it will make more sense to you. You'll be like, oh my gosh, she's so busy. Anyways, um, a day in the life of me on tour. I get here to the theater, and I am very busy. Uh, first thing I do is take a nap. Sometimes I sit down on chairs. Sometimes I walk places, and sometimes I look at things. So there's lots to do, so let's get started. So this is a tour of my room. As you can see over here, they've given me literal poison for a snack. I said I wanted something to eat and they gave me this trash. Literal trees. Do I look like a rabbit? Like who eats this type of food? Literally no one. This is disgusting. Literally sticks. Bonk. And look at this. This even has plastic on it, which is killing the earth. So not only did they give me gross food, but they're killing the earth while they're doing it. And I do not appreciate this. I'm gonna be speaking to my lawyer about it and making sure they get sued immediately for not taking care of a celebrity in their midst. So anyway, this is my closet. And in here, I keep, of course, my extra shoes. And I also keep my toilet paper in here and towels. Um, in case I get wet, which does happen more often than you would think. So let me show you the stage. So one really special thing about this theater is you can see they actually have people scribble on the walls. So all the famous people who've been here have written on the walls here before. So it's pretty exciting. Look, the Blue Man Group has been here. So that's really cool. Looks like Ryan Murphy has been here. That's exciting. Oh, wow, hairball. I cannot believe that. His hair is one of my favorite things. <gasps> Ryan Reynolds. Wow, so many famous people have been here. I literally cannot believe it. Oh, and a spanking. The spanking has been here. <gasps> you guys are not gonna believe this. Are you kidding me? Blippi has been here. The famous Blippi, the most famous celebrity in the world. This is bigger than Beyonce. So only the best and the best here on Wild Keegan. So anyways, um, let me show you the, um, the theater. Let's go. It's really freaking dark back here. And look, oh, I have to show you this. A freaking ghost. Look at that. That lamp is a ghost. So I don't know when it died, but at some point in life, that light died, and now it's just a ghost. Okay, come on. This is the backstage area. I do not know what that is. Hi, how are you? Good. Yes, so good to see you. That could have been the person that killed that light. We don't know how the ghost light became a ghost, and I feel like it could have been that guy. Um, this is the theater. It's a really ugly one today, so that's unfortunate, but here it is. It is sold out tonight completely, except for about 500 of the seats, so that's really exciting. I always make them set the lights to how I'm feeling in that moment, and right now I'm feeling pretty sad and pretty ticked off because they did not give me extra hot sauce at my Taco Bell order at breakfast this morning, and that made my day really hard. So whenever my mood changes, the lighting has to change. So if I'm happy, yellow. If I'm sad, blue. If I'm angry, purple. Diarrhea, red. Feeling sexy, brown. So every famous person has a writer and they say what they need at their shows. So for me, I need lots of hair. This is my number one thing. So I have lots of hair. I have hair right here. I have um, thick hairs on the ground. I have loose hairs. And I have to have it in my shows or I literally will not perform. And then of course we have, and of course we have this for Pride because it's Pride Month. This is for all the gay people who we love. Gay people. Anyways, let's keep going. I'm still feeling sad, so blue lights. Excuse me, sir. Get off the stage. Get off the stage. Leave. Go away. Get off. Freaking idiot. 
That's also part of my rider. No one can speak to me or breathe at me in my direction. Unless they have good smelling breath, then I actually require them to breathe on me. I like the smell of breath if they have eaten something delicious recently. Any kind of fast food is in the running for being breathed on. Also, any kind of meat, love that. Breathe on me. Um, vegetables, no chance. So if you are not in the allowance um, section of breath, you cannot breathe near me. So those are the rules in my rider. So I never really know what to wear at my shows, and that's why over here I have lots of options. A lot of girls in Hollywood these days getting lots of plastic surgery. If you want to get plastic surgery, you totally can do that. But that's the only choice you're allowed to make about your body, ladies. Don't forget that. Sometimes if you want to be strong, you can be strong. And sometimes if you want a better butt, you can get a better butt. It is plastic, but without the surgery. So most women are doing plastic surgery. I'm just doing the plastic part of it. And so you can get a new booty. I also sometimes like to pretend I'm an animal. And just be like, oh, I'm a mouse. Don't talk to me. And then people will just leave me alone. They're like, oh, we thought you were a celebrity in the scenes. It's just a rat. Of course, at every show, I have to bring a finger because everyone loves a good little fingy. Poke around, pokey poke. I honestly think this is one of the best features of Facebook and why Facebook is going out because you can't poke people anymore. Everyone loves a good pokey poke. That's why I have these in memory, RIP of Facebook, so that we can always remember the poking days. And I just like to poke people randomly um, with these, just so they can remind them that Facebook will live forever in our minds and in our hearts, the poking days. Watch. Oh. Now go away. No. See? So fun. <laughs> I only have like six hours till showtime, so I actually need to go get ready. I have to take a nap. I have to eat a snack, also sit for a minute. So those are the things I need to do. So um, I gotta get going. Hello. Hi. What'd you have for lunch today? Uh, I had uh, some Cuban food. Cuban food? Oh, wow. You could breathe on me. I bet your breath is real good. <laughs> yes, thank you. High five. <laughs> okay, thank you. I'm ready for the show, I'm all dressed. I just finished my pre-show poo. So while I was pooping, I decided I wanted to do some charity work tonight. Tonight when I see the audience, I'm gonna look for the people who are less fortunate and I'm gonna help them out and give them the best night of their life. I'm going to make their lives better. I noticed that there are a lot of people out there who are ugly, just needing a lot of help. And so I figure I'm gonna help them out tonight so that they can have more fulfilled, happy lives. So that's better than any performance. Let's go um, make people's dreams come true, guys. Come on. Cut, cut, cut. Oh, hi! <laughs> so good to see me. <laughs> wow, a great audience. <laughs> okay, so um, I want to come and help you guys out, okay? Because there's some of you who really need this money help, and I can help improve your life. so good. So if you guys want to see me live in person, just like all those lucky people out there, um, you can get your tickets minuscenes.com. You better get them before they sell out because they will sell out fast. And leave a comment. Tell me what you want to see next. I probably won't do it because I'm very busy. But leave a comment anyway. Say, oh, Miranda, please make a video like this. And I'll say, okay. And then I will not because I don't want to do your idea. Anyways, hope you guys liked this video. If you didn't, um, don't tell me. Thank you. Subscribe to me. Goodbye, guys.